Welcome back guys, thanks for watching. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know that uh, in most of my gel tests, I use my Glock 17, which is a full size, uh, like duty size, nine millimeter handgun. Well, in almost every video that I post, I get comments asking if I know what these rounds do out of more compact uh, carry size pistols. So today I'm gonna shoot uh, several different rounds. A lot of these I've already tested through my Glock 17, uh, but we're gonna retest a lot of these through a smaller, more compact pistol and compare the results so that we can get an idea of how these bullets would do in a, a self-defense pistol or a concealed carry pistol. So, the gun we're gonna be shooting is my Glock 43. This is a subcompact single stack uh, nine millimeter pistol. This is one of the smallest nine millimeters you can buy. And you can see compared to my Glock 17 that it is much smaller and has a much shorter barrel. Now if you don't know, a shorter barrel usually gives you less velocity on the bullet and obviously that affects the way that the bullet performs. So I'm gonna shoot several different rounds through the Glock 43 and try and get uh, more of an accurate representation of what these bullets would do in a concealed carry situation. Now as always, the ballistic shell blocks that I use are my clear ballistics 20% ballistics gel NATO blocks. And I do have a new one in the front. I assume most of these bullets are gonna stop in that first gel block. Uh, but just in case any of them go through, I have an older gel block behind it and we'll definitely be able to trap all these bullets in that second gel block if they leave the first gel block. All right, the first round we're gonna shoot is the 124 grain spear gold dot. All right, so our 124 grain gold dot went in, had a nice temporary wound channel, went down the gel block and stopped right there. It looks like it's definitely fully expanded. Uh, the gold dots always expand really nicely in my opinion and came to a stop in our first gel block. And it looks like the gold dot stopped right at about 12 and a half inches. All right, the second round we're gonna shoot is the 124 grain Federal Premium HST. So our HST went in just to the right of our gold dot. Similar wound channels, it looks like the gold dots might be just a hair bigger. Continued going down the gel and stopped right there, fully expanded as well. And looks like it went about an inch shorter than our gold dot did. And our HST stopped at about 11 and a half inches. All right, next we're shooting the 115 grain Hornady Critical Defense. All right, and our critical defense went into the right of our other two there. Looks like, again, it had a pretty good temporary wound channel and stopped a few inches shorter than our others that you can see up there and our critical defenses here. You can see it shot that red insert at least two or three inches further into the gel uh, than the bullet itself. And keep in mind, this is 20% ballistics gel, so all these bullets would go further in 10% gel, which most people agree that 10% uh, gel mimics human tissue better than 20% gel does. But uh, the critical defense did have nice expansion. And you can see that it stopped in our gel block perfectly upright and definitely expanded uh, pretty nicely. It didn't, doesn't look like it flattened out quite as much as the other two did, uh, but definitely got nice expansion and performed pretty well. And our critical defense stopped at about eight and a half inches. All right, next up we're doing the 124 grain plus P Hornady critical duty. And I just had a guy the other day ask me uh, if I knew how this one would do out of a smaller, more compact pistol. So let's see how it does.
All right, I'm gonna have to run this one back because it hit our critical defense. So that's not gonna give us an accurate uh, test. This is one of the problems you encounter when you're testing multiple bullets into the same gel block. I'm trying to get these in the view of the GoPro. So I'm trying to go further to the right each time, but I hit the critical defense that time with our critical duty. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot another one and try and maybe get it a little bit lower into our gel block. All right, 124 grain critical duty, take two. Alright, so our second 124 grain critical duty went in below the rest. Good wound channel, went all the way down the gel block and stopped pretty close to the end. So far this is the uh, deepest penetrating round we've shot out of the Glock 43. Looks like it expanded nicely as well. The red insert on this one is wrapped around the front of the bullet. And when I tested this round out of the Glock 17, uh, a lot of them were doing that as well. The 124 grain critical duty stopped at about 14 and a half inches. All right, next we're doing the 135 grain Hornady critical duty. This is a standard pressure, not plus P like the 124 grain was. So our 135 grain critical duty went into the top of the gel block here and again had a pretty similar wound channel to the rest of them. Continued going all the way down the gel block and stopped at the very end of our first gel block and actually sent the red insert and the back end of that bullet into our second gel block. The expansion on the 135 grain bullet is uh, not quite as good as the 124 grain but the critical duties are kind of uh, meant to penetrate more and expand a little less. So you're not going to get a completely flat bullet like you do with the Gold Dot or the HST. But uh, they're definitely really good at penetrating. And it still opened up enough to stop in our gel block. But these are 16 inch gel blocks. So I'm not going to get out the tape measure. We know that this one went exactly 16 inches. All right guys, it's starting to sprinkle out here and I'm running out of room. So I'm going to do one more round and I'm gonna end with a cheaper, uh, more affordable option. This is the 115 grain Remington UMC. This is a hollow point and I did a test on these probably a month ago and I was really impressed uh, with the Remington UMC, especially for the price. So I figured I would end with this one and see how this one compares uh, to our, our more expensive premium uh, self-defense ammo. for cover because it started raining on me pretty good. So our Remington UMC went in. It's pretty much impossible to tell right there. But went down our gel block and stopped right there. It is that one right there. And you can see that it expanded really nicely and performed really well. And again, like I said, I'm a big fan of the UMC for the price. I just like the way that it performs. And our Remington UMC came to a stop right up 14 inches into the gel. Alright guys, so I know we were able to see most of these in the gel block, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly show you guys what these look like after I pulled them out. This here is the spear gold dot that we shot, and as always, flattened out really nicely and expanded uh, pretty well. The gold dots are kind of known for flattening out and expanding uh, quite a bit. This here is our HST that we shot also expanded pretty much perfectly and flattened out quite a bit as well. Now this here is our critical defense and this one was the one that got hit inside of our gel block so obviously it's kind of hard to tell here 
but inside the gel block you can see that it expanded uh, pretty well. It ended up in an upright position and right there is where the critical duty impacted it inside of our gel. And then this here is the 124 grain critical duty that hit our critical defense. So I went ahead and retested it and here it is. The critical duties, like I said, are not really known to expand uh, to the same diameter and flatten out like a gold dot or an HST, um, but it did perform the way it was supposed to and uh, penetrated a little bit further into the block and expanded pretty much as it was designed. And then here is our 135 grain critical duty. Again, pretty similar to the 124. The 124 grain expanded a little bit more and flattened out a little bit more, but they look pretty similar. And then the last one that we tested, the 115 grain Remington UMC. And again, I'm impressed with the UMC, especially for the price. Um, it consistently performs really well and definitely does its job. Well, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not going to give my opinion on the results of these tests because people want different things out of their concealed carry ammo, so I'll let you guys come up with your own conclusion on that. I will do a part two in the future. Um, obviously, we kind of ran out of room in our gel block here, so um, I didn't really want to send any more rounds into that, but let me know in the comments what it is that you guys would like to see me test in the second part to this video, and we will get that out soon. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.